When a magnesium ribbon is burnt in oxygen, it gets converted to magnesium oxide. This description of a chemical reaction in a sentence form is quite long. It can be written in a shorter form. The simplest way to do this is to write in the form of a word equation. The word equation for the above reaction would be magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. The substances that undergo chemical change in the reaction, that is, magnesium and oxygen, are the reactants. The new substance, magnesium oxide, formed during the reaction, is the product. A word equation shows changes of reactants to products through an arrow placed between them. The reactants are written on the left hand side, that is LHS, with a plus sign between them. Similarly, products are written on the right hand side, that is RHS, with a plus sign between them. The arrowhead points towards the products and shows the direction of the reaction. Now let us learn about writing a chemical equation. Chemical equations can be made more concise and useful if we use chemical formulae instead of words. A chemical equation represents a chemical reaction. If you recall the formulae of magnesium, oxygen and magnesium oxide, the above previous equation can be written as Mg plus O2 gives MgO. Count and compare the number of atoms of each element on the LHS and RHS of the arrow. Is the number of atoms on each element the same on both the sides? If not, then the equation is unbalanced because the mass is not the same on both sides of the equation. Such a chemical equation is a skeletal chemical equation for a reaction. This equation is a skeletal chemical equation for the burning of magnesium in air. We all know that whenever a chemical change occurs, a new substance is formed. Such a change is referred to as a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction can be represented by writing the chemical formulae of the reactants and the products. Such representation of a chemical reaction is known as a chemical equation. In a chemical equation, the reactants are written on the left hand side, that is LHS, and the products are written on the right hand side, that is RHS. to the law of conservation of mass, the mass can neither be created nor be destroyed in a chemical reaction. Thus the total mass of the elements present in the products of a chemical reaction must be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants. This means that the number of atoms in each element remains the same, both before and after the completion of a chemical reaction. Let us now learn to balance a chemical equation step by step. Let us try out with this example. Fe plus H2O gives Fe3O4 plus H2. Is this chemical equation balanced? Come on, let's find out. List the number of atoms of different elements present in the unbalanced equation on any of the sides. 
After listing and identifying the different atoms, start balancing the equation with the element having the maximum number of atoms in a compound. We find that Fe3O4 has the highest number of atoms with a maximum number of oxygen atoms in it. Four, two to balance one into four four we must also remember that the formula of the compound or the elements involved in the reaction cannot be altered to equalize the number of atoms in the equation this can be explained well in the given example here to balance the oxygen atoms we put the coefficient four before h2o as four h2o balanced now yes they are but the iron and hydrogen atoms are still not balanced we can clearly observe that there are eight hydrogen atoms on the lhs but only two hydrogen atoms on the rhs to balance the hydrogen atoms in this equation, we will have to make the number of atoms of hydrogen as 8 on the RHS as well. Therefore, the equation would now become Fe plus 4H2O gives Fe3O4 plus 4H2. Now the one element that is left unbalanced is iron, that is Fe. Atoms of iron in reactants, in products. Fe plus 4H2O gives Fe3O4 plus 4H2. Finally, to check the correctness of the balanced equation, let us count the atoms of each element on both sides of the equation. This method of balancing a chemical equation is called the hit and trial method as this method employs making trials to balance the equation by using the smallest whole numbers as coefficient. Part 3 A chemical equation is made more informative by many Mentioning the state of the reactants and the products along with their chemical formulae. The gaseous, liquid, aqueous and solid states are abbreviated differently as G, L, AQ and S respectively. This can be understood better with the help of an example. In the given equation, 
Fe and Fe3O4 exist in solid state whereas H2O and H2 are in gaseous form. Sometimes the reaction conditions such as temperature, pressure, catalyst etc are also indicated above or below the arrow in the reaction. In this example, 340 atmospheres indicates the pressure at which this reaction occurs.